Hi, it's Mimi and I have a project share with you today. This is a mini album made out of envelopes and I use the envelopes that you can buy from Hobby Lobby. It's the paper, by the Paper Studio and it's this pack here and it measures five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. It's the A7 size envelopes. So I used five envelopes to create this mini and um, the paper collection is Prima's Time Traveler collection and I wanted to make it appear that it was a stack of love letters. So that's my intention in creating this mini. And this, this burlap ribbon has some charms tied to it hanging from it and these charms are from Fab Scraps. It's a key and a lock. Okay, and this just looks up like this to reveal the cover. So for the cover I just layered a lot of papers and on the side here is some Prima trim and this is an ATC card and you can see that I also used um, some of the tags and for this one what I did so that I can utilize it more is that I had um, cut the bottom half of it off to use it in another part of this mini and you'll see it when, and I'll point it out to you when we get to it and for the um, the twine for these I it was kind of long so what I did was I just cut it in half and then I just um, you know attached it here and I removed the one that belonged here and attached the other half of the twine here so that's what I did and let's see this is one of those um, wood resin pieces it's like a bracket and then down here is a chipboard piece and on this side I have some flowers and a ticket back here and um, here is a heart gear from Ingvild Bohm or Junkyard Finding and this is also a Junkyard Finding too right here and then I just um, put some uh, string in, in the flowers there and then on this side I just cut out one of the tags from the paper um, design and attached it there. So that is the cover of my album and I had used five envelopes to create this album. Okay and use this to help prop it up. So here is the first page and how this page set up is um, this is supposed to simulate a whole bunch of um, notes and to keep it all together behind this is um, a magnet and I have a magnet also behind here to help um, keep this together and this was cut from the paper collection added at Ingvild Bohm junkyard finding corner back here and then a, a flower and this is one of the wood icons and I just attach, um, put some black paper behind there so that you can um, really see the word life. Okay, so it's a place to put a photo or do some journaling. And then so for this I use another one of the um, resin pieces and then this is a doily die from Paper Tray Ink and I cut that from the paper collection Okay. and then here I did some stamping and here as well and here so plenty of places to put pictures and do some journaling so then you can just arrange this any way you like and then the magnet will just keep it together so it's not going anywhere. Okay. Then on this page, let's see. So
So for here, what I used was a um, sleeve die from AccuCut, and I actually cut that from a um, grocery paper bag. And um, that makes the pocket here. And I did some stamping here on the side, cut this from the paper collection, added some flowers, Ingville bone um, keyhole here, and a chipboard piece back here. And then I created a tag to put inside the sleeve, and I have some charms hanging here. And it's just a flower charm and um, a pearl charm that I made, and it's just held to the twine here with a lobster clasp. That one you can find at any jewelry at the jewelry section in the craft store. Okay, so this lifts up like this. Okay, and here is um, another place to put a picture. And I did some stamping, and it's hard to see. And then I added some lace trim here. And here is another place to put a picture. I added a doily, and um, I think this is one of the, the tickets. And then I just framed it with a wood icon frame. Okay. So that completes this page. And I kind of like it how this, the charms hang off on the side too. Okay. So now for the, the next page, it opens up like this. And for this one, I actually um, used the envelope as it's intended. So it's, it is a pocket here, and I just put one of the 6x4 note cards, ABC cards, in here. And then I layered a bunch of paper. And then this is a Prima flower, some Prima trim. And this is um, uh, the designer paper, and I just um, use a border punch to create this design here. And in these leaves, I just hand cut myself and crinkled it so that it appears, you know, to be a little lifelike. So these, the um, reason why I made it myself is because I couldn't find leaves that were about the right size for this flower. So I just cut it myself. Okay, so that is that page. And then for this one, <clears throat> so what I did was I took one of the note cards and then I created a side pocket with it and I put just one of the um, smaller ATC cards in here. And then this little element that I made here, okay, so what I did was I adhered the designer paper onto some black chipboard and then I used a circle die from Sizzix, and so I cut out the die, I mean the circle. And that one I'm, I used on another part of the um, album, and I'll show you where I use it. But the negative space, I didn't want to waste it, so I used it to kind of frame this flower here. And I just tied um, some string and some tool on the top here, just to decorate it a little bit. Okay, and so this is a flap that opens up like this. Okay, and then down here, just some lace trim, a crochet trim, and then this is the bottom half of the tag that I used on the cover. See how pretty it is? It's so hard to just keep it, you know, covered if it's behind, you know, something. So I cut it and I used it up here. And then I just put one of these um, charms, metal charms on top. And that's just from my stash. Okay. And I arranged this in a way so that the trim is peeking out from underneath. So you can kind of get a glimpse of it underneath this cover. Okay, so that's that part. And then, so that leads us to the back of the album. But then when you turn it this way, you'll see another part of the album. And for this, what I did was I created a, um, 
an interactive element and all of these pieces were cut from the paper so I did a little bit of fussy cutting of the flowers and this swatch and then just cut some a ticket and then just uh, a newspaper clipping added a prima um, prim doily and then oh, and then a brad here and this brad helps secure the the closure and I have a charm hanging here. This is just for my stash. So this opens up like this, and then you can open this, move back a little bit. So it opens like that, so it's a trifold. So I did some stamping here in the corner, and up here, and this border here is a stamp. And I created a little side pocket here to put this tag. Okay, it's a pretty image here. So this is a place to do some journaling or tuck in some pictures. So and it just closes like this. And then this closes, keeps it closed like this. And then I have some crochet trim on the side here as well. Okay. And then this is supposed to be a workable frame, but um, you know, you left it open on the top here so that you can slide in a picture but I think I added too much glue here on this side so that it's you know that much space is given on this side so I mean we could try to put a picture but it, if it fails you can just you know have it so that it frames this page or if you turn it it will frame this page too but here in the corner I just added a prima flower that's part of the collection Okay, and then you can see for the frame I mitered the edges. Okay. And then for this side as well, the edges are mitered. And then here I made this flower using just a petal punch. And then this is a, um, a prima bark flower shape. And then just the um, Ingve Bohm junkyard finding there. Okay. And on this side, here I just have some um, lace, and then this is the um, chipboard element that I had die cut from the previous page you saw. So this is um, on some black chipboard. And then this is a pocket that I made using an Aki cut die, cut from the paper collection, and then added flower, Ingville bone. Uh, junkyard finding and then some crystals here okay so that's this page and then that will lead us back to the front page so that's my album and um, a little bit about the construction of the album I for the top and bottom the covers what I did was I had put some um, cardboard in it to make it, you know, really hard and sturdy. And let's see what else. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And then for the side here, you know, I just really like how it, how this dangles here. And then so you can kind of see from the side if this was laying on the table that it look, kind of looks like a stack of letters. So that's my album. Hope you guys like it and I'll post pictures at the end of this. Thanks so much for watching and let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.